Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to export your book highlights into Roam. So if you're a massive nerd like me and you're always reading books to learn new things, I'm pretty sure you have a highlighting system in place to take notes on the books that you're reading. But if you're just highlighting and not doing anything with them, if you're not exporting your highlights and then using them to create valuable notes, you'll find that pretty soon you'll forget everything that you've read. And so I'll show you my easy peasy lemon squeezy system to export all your highlights from books that you're reading either on a Kindle or as a physical book. And this video is going to be one of the 28 lessons in my brand new course, Zettelkasten in Rome. In this course, I show you my systematic note-taking process to capture the best ideas I find from everything I'm consuming, like books, articles, podcasts, and so much more. And because of that, I'm building my creativity inbox over time, and then I'm able to use my Zettelcast and to create new original content for articles, courses, or videos like this one. So the course is divided into four core modules. Part one is about capture, where I go over how to create notes to save the best ideas from the content you're already consuming. Then part two is all about how to organize your notes for better discoverability in the future. Part three is called refine, and we go over how to make your notes more valuable. And then finally, part four is create, where I show you how to use your Zettelkast and to create new original pieces of content. And I've also included lessons in an intro section on how to use Roam more efficiently and the one hour masterclass as a bonus that will get you up from a complete beginner to an expert in Roam quickly. So that's basically two courses for the price of one. So yeah, you can get access to the entire course catalog, all 28 lessons. There's a link in the description. So go check it out if you want. If not, here's how to export book highlights into Roam. Let's now talk about how to take smart notes from the books that you are reading. And we'll start by talking about ebooks, namely the ones that you're reading on your Kindle. So when you read the book on Kindle, you are able to highlight the passages that resonate with you the most. And then it's a matter of extracting those highlights into your Zettelkast. So you are able to see your Kindle highlights by going to this web link, read.amazon.com slash notebook. So let's open that right now, read.amazon.com slash notebook. And on this page, you're able to see all the highlights you've taken on your Kindle. So for example, here we have YouTube Secrets, a book that I just finished. And then you're able to copy all of this if you want. So from the beginning, let's go until the end here, until here. And then you can do Command C. So let's just do YouTube Secrets, which is the name of the book. I already have a page like that. So let's just create that too. And then copy that. Now, the problem when you copy from Amazon directly is you're going to have all these pages saying yellow highlight on the page 11. Now, you could do command search and do yellow highlight and then find and replace or a copy to a Google Docs and then find and replace and remove all that. But that is a little bit annoying. So what you can do instead is connect your Kindle device, your Kindle highlights through this amazing app, Readwise. So let's see that in action. So let's open Readwise, this is our dashboard. And then I can click import. And this one, I have my Kindle here. So for you, it'll be connect and sync. I have already connected, so I can click on it. All right, the import is now complete. And it says I have 739 highlights. And now this is gonna push all the smart notes that you've taken on your Kindle every day into your Rome database, into your Rome Zettelkast. So I'm gonna show you this manually so you can see how that looks like. I go into connect and sync export highlights into Rome, which is already configured. And now he's exporting all the highlights to Rome. And this will create a new page in my Zalakast with the notes from YouTube secrets. Okay, so now we see this success exporting the 141 new highlights to one notes. So if I go into daily notes and I type YouTube secrets, you will find a page with all the notes on the book, the author, the automatic tags that I created, and then all the notes from this book here. And now I'm able to change this in a way that is appropriate to me, in a way maybe to create a book summary and to use it for other pieces of content if I need. Now in Readwise, you're also able to sync this with your My Clippings TXT file. So all you have to do is go click here. What it says is upload highlights directly from a Kindle device by plugging it in. So you go here, plug your Kindle device or upload your My Clippings TXT, which is something you can find inside. Actually, the instructions are here. And then you're able to sync this with Readwise and then push to your Roam Zettel. Now, what happens if you're not reading something from the Kindle library or you have another PDF inside your Kindle that you're reading and you still want to export those notes? To do that, you need another app. And the one that I personally use and I really love it is Clib. So Clib is an app that it's only available for the Mac and you're able to find it in the Mac App Store. For example, you go here and that will open the App Store by downloading that app. Now, the free version allows you to export 10 books. If you want to upgrade, it's a one-time fee of $15. There'll be a link in the description with a discount code. So it becomes a little bit cheaper for you. And because it's a one-time fee, you only have to pay once and use forever. So let's open Clip. So the way Clip works is you open it, go into File, Import from Kindle. And then all you have to do is connect your Kindle and select, and that will import all the new books. So for example, I have something here. And then I'm able to search. So I have 166 books. 
Let's do show your work. I'm able to search here. Right, so we find show your work and you'll see these are all the notes that I took in this awesome book. So now all I have to do is go click here and then copy. You can actually copy as Markdown if you want, but just copy. So now all I have to do is create a new page, show your work, new page, copy all that here. And I've got all the notes from that book. So again, these are all the notes that I took on that book. And now I'm able to organize this in a way that makes sense to me and in a way that I can use in the future. So Clip is simple, super great app, works with all the books that you're reading if you're not getting them from the Amazon store and all the PDFs that maybe you want to read as well in your Kindle. Very easy one-time fee and then it's just copy and paste into your Zettelkasten. Now because this is Mac only, I feel I got to cover also a tool for Windows and the tool that I recommend is one that I used before which is clippings.io. So I used clippings before I found Clip. At the time it was free but now it is a paid app and it works on a monthly fee so I'm going to log in here sign in. And so here I'm able to see all the highlights on all the books. And the way that it works is you take the my clippings txt file and then open up clippings.io and load that file and it's automatically going to load all the highlights in your books. And then if you want to export, all you need to do is click here, for example, the psychology of money, and then it's going to export. What I normally do is I export this as text. I include my notes and then I start export. And then I'm going to have a text file with all my notes on this book. So then I download the file, I can open it, and then I can simply copy this into my Rome Zettelkasten. So I don't use this tool anymore because now I use Clip, but if you're not on a Mac, you use Windows instead. The free plan limits exports to 100 characters per highlight. So that means that if you have a sentence, if you have one highlight that is more than 100 characters, it's gonna chop that down. You can see that here that it just does dot, dot, dot free plan limit. So if you want, you can click that upgrade and it's gonna be $5 per month and it's billed annually. So that means $60. There's also a link in the description if you wanna check that out. But if you have a Mac, yeah, I do recommend that you use the Clip. If you're not able, clippings.io is a very viable solution. So that is the process of inputting your notes into your room if you're reading books not bought from the Amazon store. Now, what happens if you're reading a physical book? Perhaps you don't like reading digital books, you just prefer to read something like this. It's a little bit more enjoyable, but you don't want to take the notes, highlight, and then simply manually copy everything into your Rome Zettelkast. And that is a little bit of a nightmare. But instead of doing that, luckily, Readwise as an OCR. Now, OCR stands for Optical Character Reading. And what that means is that you'll be able to use your phone, take a picture of something in the book, and then choose the highlight that you want to export. So let's have a look at that now. All right, so I open Readwise here. Let's open the book. And let's say that I like this page where it says Crook Reputation. All I have to do is click Add Highlights and then click Add via Photo. Access your camera, okay. And then I'm able to take a picture like this. And let's say now that I wanted to say, for example, because I live alone, it's kind of the same. I'm in solitary. Why are these captured hijackers? They got me hooded up. And I'm gonna save that part. So I'm just dragging my finger to select the parts that I want. Then I'm gonna click save highlight. And then maybe I can write some notes or I can adjust the text if I want. But I'm happy with this. So I click next, no add notes, add page. I can actually add the page 143 if I want it. But I'm gonna save this highlight and that highlight is saved. So now if I go back into Readwise, I can say browse. I'm just gonna click everything quick passages, you'll be able to see here that this is the passage that I highlighted in this book. And then I can copy this highlighted text and copy into my digital Zettelkasten, or instead it's just gonna push that every single day. But I'm gonna do this manually to show you. So start export, it's now exporting the highlights again. So now if I go back here and I just write quick passages, which was the notebook, that is the page. And you'll see this because I live alone, it's kind of the same, I'm in solitary. This is the highlight that I took from this physical book using Readwise OCR on my phone. Now, obviously there's gonna be a little bit more work to take all these highlights from physical books. So if you can, it's obviously a lot better to read on your Kindle. But if you really love paper books, this is a way of taking all the highlights from your books in a simple and very easy manner. And now that I have this here, maybe I can change the name to is this anything, and then the author, here, I'm simply gonna write Jerry Seinfeld. And that's it. I got all the notes from that book that I wanted. It's just a matter of repeating that process for all the pages that you took 
your highlights. So that's how I do it. As you see, very simple, very straightforward. I hope you learned a thing or two, and now you can use the same system to export your book highlights into Roam. And then once you export your book highlights, you want to make your notes a little bit more valuable. And to do that, what I like to do is progressive summarization. I have a video about progressive summarization in Roam. All you have to do if you're so inclined is click here to go watch that video right now. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.